इंस्ट्रूमेंट दिखना हाँ सर दिख रहा है नाउ सी दिस इज द डिजिटल मल्टीमीटर ओके सो वी विल परफॉर्म वी विल मेजर और वी विल परफॉर्म दिस प्रैक्टिकल यूजिंग दिस डिजिटल मल्टीमीटर सो नाउ सी दिस इज अ डी सी वर्ल्ड वॉट इज दी डी सी वर्ल्ड एंड दिस इज अ सी वर्ल्ड एंड दिस इज डी सी एम ओके दिस इज द ए सी ओके डी सी करंट मेजरमेंट फॉर ए सी करंट मेजरमेंट फॉर ए सी वोल्टेज फॉर डी सी वोल्टेज एंड दिस इज फॉर रेजिस्टेंट बिफोर गोइंग टू मेजर ऑल दिस वी हैव टू चेक दिस डिजिटल मल्टीमीटर इज वर्किंग ऑन नॉट फॉर दिस विल गुट ऑन ऑन एंड वी विल नाउ सी वी हैव दिस कलेक्टिंग वी फुट दिस नॉब दिस ब्लैक नॉब इन कॉमन पॉइंट ओके एंड दिस रेड पॉइंट रेड नॉब इन then so now see this is sounding okay so we can say this is the okay this is okay after this <coughs> common node okay then then this is a disturbance okay after this so first switch on this the practical is study of thermal theory Okay, so we are going to perform the practical of thermal theory. So first, switch on this key. Okay, before going to perform the practical, so we have to set this voltage at the fixed voltage. Okay, so now see, this is a range is zero to twelve volt. So we have to set this voltage up to ten volt. So we will fix this voltage. How can we fix? So we will put this knob here, red, and this is black here, and we will put this digital multimeter. Yeah. Okay. So put on DC voltage. Now see, we will. It is the zero position. Okay. So we will increase this knob slowly, slowly. You see, the voltage is increasing. Voltage is increasing. Okay. So when we will put. Now you see. We have to set it ten volt. Okay. Okay. This is approximately ten volt. Correct. So after checking this, don't touch this knob. Okay. We have fixed. Now see. We will make complete connection. Now see here, the dot line is indicating the connection is between these two points. Mm -hmm. But the dash dash line indicating that there is no connection between these two points. Mm -hmm. So we have to make this connection complete. Okay. So we will make we will complete this connection for us. So this is the connecting wire. Okay. Now see the complete connection is this is the complete connection of Thevenin's theorem. When we perform Thevenin's theorem, first we will calculate the VTH. Okay, VTH. For calculation of VTH, what we will do? We will remove the load resistance. So here, which is one is load resistance? This one. So we also check this load resistance is one kilo or not. Okay. So this is the complete connection of Thevenin's theorem. So first we will check the load resistance value of load resistance. Then we will remove the load resistance and then we will measure the VTH. Okay. So first here. Put this knob on kilo ohm. Okay. So now see this is approximately 1 kilo ohm okay correct right. so we have to fix it now again see this is the 
complete connection. So with measurement of VTH, we will remove this load resistance. For remove this load resistance, we have to break this connection from this side. Okay, there is a dot dot line. So we will remove this wire. We will use that. So we, now you see this load resistance is removed. Okay, and across this point we have always measured the VTH. Okay. Correct. So this VTH we will put this red knob here, and this is the here, and we will put this on DC volt point. Okay, now you see the voltage of this is it fluctuating? One point five five volt. Okay, so write down this VTH is what one point point five five volt. Okay, correct. So this is the VTH. Okay. So after measuring the VTH, then we will measure the RTH. RTH. So for measurement of RTH, what we will do? We will always do the uh, voltage source as a short circuit and current source as a open circuit. So the, and again we will measure the RTH across this terminal. Same as it is where we have measured the VTH. So we will put knob here and now we will make this voltage source as a short circuit by connecting directly to this point. Now you see this is a short circuit. Here. Okay. Now see here there is no voltage, no voltage is the voltage source applied here. So no the value of voltage is zero. So now we will now you see the value of RTH is what? 1.72. So this is the your now you check your theoretically and practically it will be same. Okay, but this is the practically RTH is 1.72. Okay? Clear? So write down this RTH is 1.72. Okay. This is the 1.72. Now after this we have to measure the load current. Okay, so for this load current measurement, we have to make the complete connection. But in the Thevenis theorem, what we have done? We have draw the equivalent circuit. This is the VTH. This is RTH. Okay, and here we will again connect the load resistance. This is the RN. And through this resistance, the current will pass IL. So by using the formula, IL is equal to VTH by Ohm's law. RTH upon VTH upon RTH plus RN. Okay, so you will get the value of IL. Correct. So here, this complete circuit diagram. Now you see this circuit diagram is here like this. So, okay. So this is 270 ohm. This is 1 kilo ohm. This is 10 volt. We have assumed and 470 ohm. This is 1.5 kilo ohm. Okay, this and this is your load resistance that is 1 kilo ohm. Okay, a current IL is passing through. In theoretical case, we have removed this complete circuit by uh, this Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So we have replaced this complete circuit by a uh, Thevenin's voltage with in series with Thevenin's resistance. Okay, here. But when we perform the practically, so we make this complete connection and here we will put the no. Here we will put the so we will measure here I N. So now see how can we we will connect again voltage supply to it. Again we make the complete connection here. Again we have completed this mobile then this one. Then we will remove this. Then again we make the connection 